it's Morgan Morris, Marketing Director at CO2 Meter, and I am here today with Emily Malin, Creative Marketing Manager at CO2 Meter. And we are both excited to talk to you today about an easy DIY project with our favorite ingredient, CO2. Now today is not just any day, while we love to talk about the science behind gases like CO2, when it comes to the spooky Halloween season, we like to dig a little deeper and show you some fun and easy tricks you can do right at home. That's right, today we're going to show you an easy DIY spooky ice cauldron project. Uh, to create the same DIY project, you will need the following items. Dry ice, safety goggles, safety gloves, we have some bubbles as well, and of course, a spooky cauldron. Now this DIY experience can be done outdoors, but if done indoors, it's important to know that you're in a room with plenty of ventilation. Though, having a personal CO2 safety monitor, such as the San 10, can come in handy if you need to open a window or increase the airflow. Now, now that we have our safety guidelines, let's get right into the spooky fun. Mm. Now, before we begin, it's important to mention that dry ice is very cold. So cold that it is 109 degrees below zero. And it's dangerous, so you do need proper safety gear to eliminate frostbite or hazards from occurring. Now, while we're using safety gloves today, you can use tongs if you want to handle the dry ice if necessary. Now, let's go ahead and look at the dry ice. It is very cold, like I mentioned. And when it is a dry ice form, it does not turn into a liquid. Instead, it turns right into a, a gas. When you Ooh. blow on it, you can actually see your dry ice evaporate. So for kids, friends, families, and those who get home ready to create some spooky magic, you will need to grab a small container, fill it with some warm water, a few pieces of dry ice, and don't forget your safety gear. So we are going to go ahead and pop a few dry ice pieces in some water. Now this spooky effect will usually last anywhere from 10 to 30 minutes to really give you that effect that you're looking for this holiday season. So we have our dry ice in our bowl. We're gonna go ahead and just dump some water on there. And you'll start to see that the dry ice is going to start evaporating and turn into a bit of a fog. Ooh, I hear the bubble, 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 toil and trouble. Now let's go ahead and see if we can add a few more dry ice pieces just to really give it that effect. Ooh! And there you go, you have your spooky misting cauldron. So before we go ahead and end this fun experience, we did want to go ahead and show you one other that you can do with these same few ingredients. Oh, and there's our CO2 safety monitor letting us know that, hey, you need to ventilate the space. We have a lot of CO2 going on here. So let's go ahead and get some ventilation. Now for the next experiment, you can heighten the CO2 effect just a little by taking a rag with a bit of bubble juice and going back and forth in a cauldron or bowl until you create a sort of film. What this is doing is capturing the CO2 inside a soapy film that will form on the top and capture all the fog inside because it's being built based on pressure. The fun part is seeing if that bubble will burst upwards or go to the bottom. And there you have it. You can absolutely have a blast at your next spooky event. Now, if you like the CO2 meter video as much as we did, be sure to give this video a huge thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. So from all of us here at CO2 meter, have a very spooky season.